Hello, my beautiful Libras. I did your recording. I love you, first of all. I did your recording, except it didn't record. So we had a little technical glitch. Your reading is exceptional. I don't want to do it over. So I just am going to go forward and tell you what happened in this reading because it's beautiful. First of all, we have, I did a you versus them, okay? So this is you, this is them, all the way along here. Um, with Tarot of the Night, Tarot de la Nuit. So what we have here, Libra, is this, abs we have Angel of the Night, and your person also got Angel of the Night. Angel of the Night is Dark Night of the Soul and a transformative energy that says that you literally, this is very twin flame, soulmate energy and you're going through the transformative process both of you are doing this so your energy starting out in this reading is this dark night of the soul and your person is a nine of swords their energy says oh my gosh i have hurt my libra I have destroyed my relationship with Libra in the recent past. I am grief stricken. I want to apologize. Libra doesn't want to talk to me. I don't know what to do. I can't sleep. I'm not normal. How is this ever going to get better? And the clarifiers here, your person wants to apologize. And it looks as though with the hanged man energy, this is Pisces. So we get this uh, energy that you're just trying to find in enlightenment you have your as you go through your dark night of the soul you are truly looking and studying some sort of spiritual information to get enlightenment pisces energy 12th house very much alone but very much in a beautiful space of of seeking answers and healing your person on the other hand is over there you know in their in their energy just feeling as though they could never get you back they feel it's hopeless that's sort of a bad attitude card because they're not really searching for the answers of how to they're just caught up in the moment when we look at your person's energy with your energy now this is so these cards are separate that their energy here I'm sorry, this was the first card. Your energy is feeling very much locked out, you know, just feeling really sad. Their energy is dark night of the soul that they owe you an apology. So we get two apology cards here. That's the same card. So your person, again, feels as though they have created a situation that is just not going to heal. They feel hopeless. There's a feeling of hopelessness, but it's not an accurate portrayal of the situation. What you want going forward, Libra, is this beautiful page of Pentacles energy. You really want them to make an offer. You want to rebuild. You want to start over. You, you know, you basically want to turn back time. They want to, this is a marriage energy. It's all about let's, let's live life high. Let's make a lot of money. Let's have a beautiful home. Let's have an abundant life. Let's travel. Let's invest in property and real estate and dress well and live the high life. Both of you are feeling very confused about how you get there. You want equal give and take, both of you do, but both of you are sort of lost in space. You know, this is Seven of Cups energy is Scorpio energy. You don't know how to get there from here, to, so to speak. And the Scorpio energy means that you have to make a choice. You have to let something die to let something live. And that energy is just one of confusion. As you can see, that you know both of you are in this situation of trying to figure things out you're over here in a much more spiritual way your partner's over here in much more this like well am i just supposed to go date other people and they have their options here but as you can see this coral snake is quite poisonous so not all those options or choices are good choices the six of coins really speaks to the fact that your person wants to have a relationship with you but they think that you've rejected them so now they they're, they're in this, you know, sort of conundrum of wondering what to do. You have left them behind. When we look and see how you feel, you love them, but you want something more fulfilling. 
what we see for them is, oh, I have Libra. Put a feather in my cap. I've just conquered the most beautiful woman on earth. Well, the problem with a conquest is that there's a loser, right? If you if there's a winner, there's a loser. And so you, they're all up in there, you know, hey, look at me. I'm going to put my thumbs under my suspenders and brag about what a great lover I am. Here I am. I'm all Mr. King of Pentacles. You know, this is the energy of what both of you want. But your person thinks that they're there and you're over here going, yawn. Oh no, we're not, we're not stable. I'm going to leave until you figure out how to stop strutting around and being egocentric. I'm going to leave because I'm in my emotions and you're in your ego. So when we look at the energy of how they are, you know, both of you are feeling in your heart space, the hermit card, you just feel really at a loss. You feel lonely. You're seeking answers. You're trying to figure things out. The devil card is they're obsessed with the sexuality, the sensuality, the passion. They want to control you. They want to possess you, you know, and that goes along with the six of wands card conquest. And that is just not going to work for you. Again, the Eight of Cups says that you are walking away from this sort of compulsive energy that's all based on passion. Um, so when we look at what's going to happen, how both of you view the situation currently is this judgment card. The decision has been made, Libra. You've already walked away. You're both going, going through this incredible transformation dark night of the soul you're that's where you're at it's this is the best this is the most incredible love card of all of my decks is this angel of the night and you have it and it was shocking this is the reason this reading is laying here is that your person got it too it's the highest form of love it's a love that cannot be denied so when we look at that, because it's very scorpionic, when we look at that, she's going through dark night of the soul and there are butterflies of transformation. So you're both going through this period of it, almost like purging scorched earth kind of uh, feeling with the judgment card. Again, Scorpio energy, death card, Scorpio energy. You have to release you have to release this ego-driven energy to get to something that's grounded. So both of you, it looks as though, Libra, you basically told your person that this wasn't working for you and they feel that this is dead. Your person feels this is dead. It's over. Both of you feel stabbed in the back. Both of you are moving forward and healing. And the masculine energy here is not to be denied. Your person's coming back. They are not going to stay away from you. They are obsessed with you with that devil energy. Now, we have Rosie on our lap. Little Rose is going to join us in the reading. So that's a little snoring sound you hear. Um, so here we have the Nine of Swords energy. We get that is the energy both of you have about the situation currently that's hidden. Aw, kisses on my hands. Thank you, Rose. Six of Cups energy is that you would like to have a reunion. You'd like to get together and talk with this person. This is a devastating card in a reading, okay? This Four of Swords energy is your person trying to heal. But if you look at this, when you look at the card very closely, this person has a tear of blood. It's not a regular tear. They're literally bleeding their tears of regret and remorse. Spirit is recommending that you keep the fire in your belly, keep doing the work, because if you do, you get to this beautiful Queen of Pentacles energy. So now we have the energy here of something you can work with. Now we have this coin energy coming in and grounding the relationship. So we see the King of Pentacles here and the Queen of Pentacles here. So it, what we're seeing is that Spirit is saying, you can have this. You have to do the work, though. The Nine of Pentacles is doing the work, and it's right here. The Four of Pentacles says that as your outcome for this week, from now till the 14th, 
you have the Four of Pentacles energy holding on to each other, and you also have the Nine of Pentacles, which is your person is not letting go of you. If you're willing to talk to them at all, and you will let them know eventually, and you're not going to send the message out in a normal way, but what we see is that the two of you will be talking about how to build a Taurus energized, Hierophant, traditional marriage type relationship. So that's your outcome for the week. You're holding on to the person. They see you as the one, the single person who's ready to mingle, and they want to put a ring on it with this Hierophant card. Right now, you're at an impasse. You haven't you know, you haven't heard from this person yet, but you're about to. We get message in a bottle, so I feel as though you will get a text message. Uh, Spirit is recommending that you imagine this really can be what you want it to be. Two zero, the number 20, the number of the judgment card. You can make a decision to make this work. And we see this beautiful energy of new life, Libra. This is an exceptionally gorgeous reading. Uh, keep the faith, Libra. Tell me what you think. Send some feedback. Loving you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.